What is going on everyone? This video is a summary on the key feature and service announcements made by Adam Solipsky related to data and analytics during the AWS reInvent 2022 keynote presentation. There was three themes he covered related to data analytics, which was integration, governance, and insights. So related to integration, Amazon Aurora Zero ETL integration into Amazon Redshift was announced. This allows for automatic and near real-time data integration from Amazon Aurora directly into Redshift. This feature is serverless and dynamically scales up and down depending on data volumes. The problem it's solving is not having to manually build ETL pipelines to move your data from your transactional Aurora database to your Redshift cluster when you may be performing more intense analytical based queries. The second integration announcement was also related to Amazon Redshift and it was the Amazon Redshift integration for Apache Spark. This allows for users to run read write queries directly on the data right in Redshift using EMR, Glue, or SageMaker. The problem this solves is not having to move your entire data set into Spark or manage custom connectors to achieve this. For the theme of data governance, Amazon makes a big leap forward in the data governance realm with the announcement of Amazon Data Zone Service. It is a data management service to catalog, discover, and share data. At a high level, it allows for fine-grained controls to manage and govern access to data as well as a data catalog populated by ML to easily search using business terms. Amazon Data Zone has a web portal where data producers can set up data zone business data catalogs. These data catalogs have your own business glossary, descriptions based on your organizational hierarchy. You can then connect your data zone to your data sources, which uses ML to populate the data with appropriate metadata you publish. You then connect your data zone to your data sources, which uses ML to populate it with the appropriate metadata, and then you publish the catalog. Anyone wanting to access data in your organization can search the catalog using familiar terms and request access. Within data zone, data projects can be configured, which defines a group of users and data sets, making it easier to collaborate across the organization. All members of the project have access to the data and the analytical tools they need to do analytics. DataZone also has an API to integrate into DataZone to work with other service providers like Tableau or Snowflake so you can work with all your data assets. Finally, for the theme of insights, Amazon QuickSight's operational paginated reports is now available. This allows for customers to create business critical operational reports in the cloud. This may be a big help to some organizations because of the specific formatting requirements that these operational reports need. Enhancements were also made to Amazon QuickSight's Q. So ML powered forecasting with Q was announced. This allows business users to ask you to forecast a metric into the future. For example, forecast sales for the next 12 months, which looks at seasonality, anomalies, and outliers to form the best forecast. You can also ask why questions. It runs correlations in the backend and provides a list of possible explanations to why something has changed. So this list of services and features is only what Adam mentioned during his keynote presentation. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more AWS data and analytics announcements to expect during reInvent 2022. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing for more videos on data engineering and AWS. Thanks again and see you next time.